Hello, this is James with Lot Hill. I'm going to show you how to connect Time Drop to multiple time clock databases. Um, this can be used for controlling multiple businesses using a single install of Time Drop. Now, each location that you want to control, you will have to have an extra license for that location so you can connect to that database. First thing you'll do is you'll install the Time Clock software, uh, Time Drop, as you normally would. Then secondly, you will go ahead and create another shortcut. You can do that by right clicking on your desktop, select new shortcut, and then browse and find the time drop software. It'll be located under this PC, your C drive, program files x86, Lot Hill Solutions, time drop, and then find the time drop.exe file. Select that, click OK. Now at the end of this location, we're going to put slash connect, and then the file that we want to connect to. So if you're using Google Drive, Dropbox, or any other map drive or UNC path, then you can connect directly to that database as long as you're on a, a, a VPN or network. Um, Google Drive and Dropbox, those will synchronize to your local machine, so you would just select that particular folder. In my particular case, I'm going to use Windows Explorer to find the file that I want. I know it's on my P drive, so it will be ptimeclock.mdb. If you're using Dropbox or OneDrive, you can click on that specific folder and then click up in the address bar and you'll get the actual path of that, that location. So in my case, again, it's the P drive and I want the timeclock.mdb file. You can highlight that file and hit F2 and then select the entire thing. Click up in the address bar, make sure your cursor is flashing after the last character and control V to paste it and then you can copy the entire thing and dump it in between the quotes here. I recommend using quotes just in case you have a space in between your file name. That will ensure that the entire path is part of the connect parameter. Click Next and here's where you can specify the name of that location for that database. I'm just going to say it's the P drive time clock and then click finish. That's it. And that's going to create a new icon on your desktop. This one is historical for me. Uh, it'll create a new icon on your desktop that you can use to connect to that specific location. And by default, when you install Time Drop, it will connect to the local computer. So if you want to change your default installation, you can open up Time Drop Manager and sign in using your normal credentials. By default, the username is manager and the password is password. You can then go to manage system options, select data source, and then select the new location for that database. By default, it's under the program data folder, Lot Hill Solutions, Time Drop. If you want to change that for your default installation, you can. Any other installs that you create or any other icons that you create will automatically use the path that is within the shortcut. You can right click on that icon, go to properties, and you can see that what you put in there for that connect parameter. Again, it should be slash connect space the path that you want to connect to, or that file you want to connect to. That's it for accessing additional databases through Time Drop. If you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to us at product dot support at lothill.com.